Hey guys, Chuck with RV Tech Tips again. Um, in this video, we're going to be installing an LED light strip um, underneath the trailer. Um, this one is made by Blackhawk. Um, it's uh, multicolor, 300 LED LEDs, uh, waterproof, and it has uh, some 3M tape on the back that'll hold it. I'm actually replacing the light that was already there. Um, this one I like better because you can control the color of the lights and it has a remote so we can uh, change the modes and everything. So first thing we got to do is uh, run a 12 volt circuit. I already did that because I'm replacing one but I'll show you how I did that. So the easiest place on this trailer was the refrigerator because we already have a gas line going through the floor. So I just ran my wires down from the fridge. You got your 12 volt and your ground. Uh, the 12 volt wire I ran up to a switch right here. And then back down through this hole where the gas line comes in and right out the bottom there. All right, the next step would be to wipe down the surface that you're gonna be attaching the light strip to. So. Wipe this down so there's no dust or debris on it. And then make sure it's dry before you install the light so it will stick properly all right our next step is to hook up our connector to our 12 volt wires the circuit that we just ran uh, this is kind of long so i think i'm going to trim it back a little bit don't want to have too much extra wire hanging around This is going to plug into this right here. And then this plug will plug into the light strip. So there's a little tiny arrow on here as well as here. That way you plug it in the right direction because it does matter. The other cool thing about this light is it has another connector on this side to add another one. This is like 16 feet, but if you wanted to add more, you could. But first, we need to hook this up to our uh, 12 volt. Now our next step is to route the wire the way it's going to go. So you don't want to peel the tape back and start gluing it down until you get it around everything that's coming across the frame. Because um, if we start taping it and then we run into like a gas line that's going to go around the frame, then we'll be kind of stuck. So if you run it first, then we wouldn't have that problem. Okay, so we got our light around the axle and the propane hoses and everything. So at this point, we can start taping from the front to the back. Um, first, I'm gonna hook up our harness here and, tape, and zip tie it up so that uh, it's out of the way. This is just pulling by 
right off the adhesive, so dang. You might just have to glue it on, I guess. Didn't really want to do that, but. Yeah, it's just peeling the adhesive right off. Alright, so I put a bunch of glue on the connector so it wouldn't come loose. Once that dries, it should stay connected, hopefully. So I'm going to have to just let that dry before I start zip tying it because I, I zip tied it and then it came right back out again. Kind of frustrating. But that's alright. We'll let that dry and then we'll start working on attaching the light. Glued on. Let's see if it works. It works. Looks like we got a bunch of different colors we can go with. It also has different speeds. Here, how do you do that? There we go. That's a little too crazy. All right, so we're all done with the installation. It went pretty well. Um, the couple things I was disappointed in was the um, the 3M tape. Uh, when I was peeling back the backing, the whole uh, that took the adhesive off with it. Um, and I'll give Blackhawk the benefit of the, of the doubt on that one because I think that it was probably stored too long in the at the distributor in the warehouse and maybe it was getting too hot in there because 3M 3M makes really good products so um, I, th I think it was just maybe sitting on the shelf too long or something like that and then also the uh, plug um, wouldn't stay in together as long as my glue s keeps it together it should be okay. Um, but yeah, it's all done. Um, not only um, LED lights, are, they're, they're pretty cool at night to have under there, but they also keep rodents away. I didn't know that until um, I was camping one time and I had just seen a bear like near my camp, which, so, which is pretty cool. But at night I was kind of on edge, like hearing things out in the woods and stuff. And then later on that night, in the middle of the night, I hear a bunch of scratching like in the on the walls or something so it woke me up and then I go turn the light on and then um, I got three mice that got into the trailer just running around going crazy but so I heard on YouTube someone else said that if you put lights under there that kind of keeps rodents away because they're afraid of the lights which makes makes sense because they like dark areas so I think the LEDs will work with with that hopefully but yeah, it's all done. Now um, all I gotta do is show you. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't, and um, yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs>